A marriage to Alafin was sabotaged, says ex-wife Badirat Adeyemi. Welcome, do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe. A marriage to Alafin was sabotaged, says ex-wife Badirat Adeyemi. Let's get into the details. Badirat Adeyemi, an ex-wife of the late Alafi of Oyo, or Balamidi Adeyemi, has said that marriage to the monarch was sabotaged. According to her, the sabotage came from those who felt she was the monarch's favorite of all his wives. Mourning the Alafin, Badira stated that she and the monarch were practically best of friends, who had bonded likening to that of a CMS. I was thinking it's all lies and that you're coming back, but I'm afraid I was wrong. The father of my kids that I met at an impressionable age left when it was least expected, Badira wrote on her Instagram page. She continued, whenever I tell people that the bond we share can be likened to that of a CMS, having been married to you at age 19, they are more than transfixed. We were practically best of friends, but the moment they had an inkling about whom your favorite was, everything was flopped. The entrepreneur said she does not know how to relay the news of the monarch's death to their kids. She stated further, Alas, the kids and I can't see you anymore, nor converse with you any longer, but I vehemently believe you are seeing us. I wish we can still have few words before I've got a whole lot to tell you. And be afraid of what to tell the boys especially. I did you know, because at his age, he read and solved the net. So much the curiosity gets hold of him. And I've already known a lot about you, she added. You remain to me a best father, teacher and mentor. An husband that ever bestrode the landscapes. Almighty Allah will forgive all your sins and accept your return. One of Alafin's youngest wife, Queen Badirat um, Adeyemi, has gone on social media to bid the Alafin of Oyo farewell after his burial ceremony was announced to be scheduled on June 4th. Uh, we all know that Queen Badirat was um, one of Alafin's estranged wife. She married the um, late Alafi at a really young age and at the age of 19. Um, while um, rumors of infidelity sparked in the palace um, after she was accused of following a Fuji musician. Well, we all know that she was asked to leave the palace until investigations are carried out to make sure that she did not cheat on the late Alafin of Oyo. And now she has gone to her Instagram page to make claims saying that an allegations against, um, against the other wives saying that they were jealous because she was the Alafi's favorite wife and that is why they made allegations against her that were not true and that she wasn't um, following any other um, person aside from the Alafi of Oyo. We all know that she was Alafi of Oyo, she was like Alafi of Oyo's and back. She followed Alafi of Oyo everywhere because she was she's so beautiful and we all know that Alafi of Oyo loves um, beautiful fair women he loved them he loves them light-skinned and well all um seem to have and um, ended um those times following allegations of infidelity against her and she was um she was reported to have had an illicit affair with a popular fuji um musician well she, um in uh, uh, in that post on instagram she described it as the evil man machination of her critics and she also placed um a curse on herself then to prove her innocence of the allegations and while she reacted to it she immediately described it as um as the as the um act of people that do not want her to stay in the palace well it got so bad that the young young and stunning mother of three who was presently observing i was presently observing our national youth service in lagos then was asked to pack out of the palace until the conclusion of the um, investigation well um though that time her fate in the palace um was yet to be determined and she had made a lot of news and she um then she did not wish the life of or your happy birthday on his 82nd birthday it was um such a news on the internet because people were expecting her to send a, um, a better message to the king but she didn't she didn't she didn't send a better message to the king but she went ahead to delete all their photos that they had had together um 
all the photos she deleted it um, and left no trace of their marriage um, even while the other wives of the monarch were sending, sending sweet and lovely messages to the monarch on his um, 82nd birthday on social media she deleted all traces of ever being married to him from all her social media accounts well, why she did this, um, many were insinuating that she may have finally be dead um, by bye to the to her, to her marriage to the royal um, father. By the end of the day, it seems that she didn't she, she couldn't let go of the late Alafia of Oyo because people weren't expecting her to um, come back because while she left, she um, went away, started her life at fresh and was not, and. This is what um, happened. Just like Queen Dami, who also left the, um, the palace. This is how um, everything that happened in the in the palace. Most of these young people just married this day, married their life of Oyo because of money. It's not like as if any of them have love for them. Because how would you describe a 19 year old girl marrying someone that is over um, 70 something or 80 something? Um, sometimes it might not be the fact that they need money, it might, it might be love. But we all know that the Alafia of Aya Ayo, Ayo had a lot of, of wives. And many of them just entered there because of the money. And we can recall that a um, um, few days after the Alafia of Oyo passed away, the Queen, Queen Dami came to ask for her own inheritance and really caused a sin. And she was chased out of the palace, like disgraced out of the palace because of she came to seek for her own inheritance. The fact that she did not even allow the little Alafia of Oyo's body to be called and you're already seeking for inheritance just shows that most of them married Alafia of Oyo because of what the Alafia of Oyo can, can offer them. We all know that Alafia of Oyo had um, 13 wives and he took care of all of them very well. He bought them gifts. He bought some of them houses. He bought some of them cars on their birthdays. And he, uh, well, um, back then, he took them on a trip to, with him to, to London. When they went to London, we can see that he snapped them. We saw the pictures and, and everything. He was a lover of beautiful women. Um, before he even died, he was planning on um, building a museum for these women where they will be selling um, um, a museum for women where they'll be selling apparels and stuff like that so he was a lover of women he loved this woman but we, we can't say the same um for for all of them also we can't say the same for the other wives because some of them were already seeking inheritance even before the alafia of your body's body got cold so you can see that you you already know what some of them are there for not everyone is there because they love their laughing some are there to secure their future some are there to um to make money of the alafia of oil's back because it's not all of them that had jobs some of most of them do not have job only few of them you can count that um add something they were doing